the big day had arrived, everybody. Puma's active gaming footwear had landed in the house. What was it going to be? Was it going to be gamer RGB goodness? Were my frame rates about to skyrocket? Let's get him on the table. Let's open these bad boys up. Let's get these Call of Duty slippers out of the way. Let's get the lion slippers out of the way. There is a new bad boy in town. It's Puma's gaming footwear. Now, what was I expecting? I had no idea. I ordered these on a whim. I asked Puma, hey, do you want to try a real critique heavy UK channel? And let me review your shoes. They said, sure, go for it. The shoes miraculously arrived and it was time to open up them. The shoes were real. The gaming shoes actually existed and they were in my house. So there is surprise one. I thought these were going to be a meme shoe, yet here they are arriving in the correct size and everything. And there's two of them. There's actually two of them. I haven't been trolled by Puma. There is two shoes and I've got them in my hands and they're real. And my honest first initial impressions were, damn, these look pretty damn sleek. These were not what I expected. I hadn't really looked anything up about them. These were designed by experts for the requirements of active gaming. And they honestly look pretty damn sleek. They're really lightweight. They're, they're just a regular sort of lightweight, sort of, you know, those football boots, kind of grippy sock-like shoes. They look sleek, they're, they're sort of knitted with a hard bottom, and they arrived in size 11. On the websites, I didn't see any option for size 11, but Puma hooked me up. So it's time to slip into these bad boys and see what kind of frame rates I'm getting, what kind of experience I'm getting. Am I ready to game? Let's have a look. Feeling good. Let's take the first big monumental steps in the active gaming footwear. Obviously, when you ever try a new pair of shoes, if you're a guy, you've got to do an around the world with a with a flyaway football. You've got to do a few keepy ups because you think you're David Beckham, and you know. Then you've got to check the quality. Yep, the soles are still there. Let's put the feet up and let's see in two weeks' time what I think about these shoes. And no, these shoes are not going to help you levitate like David Blaine. Trust me, I tried. So two weeks have passed and I'm now just going to sit down and I'm going to chat about the shoes and I'm going to let you know my full thoughts about these gaming shoes. Are they worth it? And just some thoughts. I'm not going to give a scale of 1 to 10. I'm not going to tell you if you should buy them or if you shouldn't buy them. I'm just going to give my opinions on the shoes. You can listen to me and then you can formulate your own opinions on whether they're worth buying or not. Now, before I did this review, I was kind of honestly, and I, I hate to sound like an advertisement, I was like, where are they? I need to pick these shoes up to sort of show them. And I'm not going to lie, they were literally on my feet. All right. And I know, I know that sounds like a, like a goddamn advert. I know it does. But the reality was they're really, really comfy. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. And that's all I can do. Uh, again, thanks to Puma for sending these. Um, really appreciate you giving your trust to a smaller channel. Hopefully, I'll repay you with a decent review. Something that is useful to you and the consumer. So, take it away. And one of the main things I asked them was, can I basically say anything about these active gaming shoes? Anything I want. And they said, go for it. We know you're a critique channel, um, but we're not sort of afraid. Just go and say what you want. If you think they're awful, then they're awful. If not, then that's great. And that was a really important thing because um, obviously there's been many memes said about this shoe the whole does it have rgb does it not is it a gaming shoe well if it's made for console gaming can pc gamers wear this um there's been articles from the telegraph and all kinds of weird places where you wouldn't expect there to be an article like the independent about 
basically mocking the fact that Puma have decided to make gamer shoes that sort of feel and behave and are, are as comfy as a sock. And people are kind of freaking out at the fact that they cost £80. Um, £80 for a pair of shoes these days isn't outrageous, to be honest. I've had this product for roughly two weeks now, and I've worn it every single day. Um, I didn't want to do a product review where I just basically unboxed these brand new shoes, told you how amazing they were because I'd got sent a free pair, and then gone on my merry way. No, when a new type of product comes out, um, that's different and everyone slates it immediately. I think to myself Okay, well someone's come up with the idea and someone's decided to put this product sort of to market in the famous words of Lord Sugar so Why why is that are they just a meme are they good? Is it just for a publicity stunt to get articles like the independent talking about these shoes and their brand or is there a bit of substance behind the shoes and and are they worth it? As clean as it used to be, because I've been wearing these. Now, these are indoor-only shoes, so I haven't worn them out and about or anything. However, I would say that these, after wearing them, would be like perfect kind of gym shoes. Not for running, but if you're just standing, you're doing some weights, you're doing some curls, uh, you're squatting. They're really comfy, and you wouldn't look out of place in the gym, and you wouldn't look ridiculous. So... Let's just get that out of the way first. These are not just pure gamer shoes. They're, they're, they're bendy. They they, gri they grip your foot just like a sock. They're incredibly comfy. And I was very surprised when I put them on, really, that I was enjoying them so much. Now, they have a few modes. And these modes, to be honest, are a bit confusing. So I'll read them out and I'll put the picture up on screen. So when I asked them basically why are they gamer shoes and why are they, you know, why are they not just shoes? What makes them gamer? They said that they basically, and I'll read the quote, they're designed, they're designed with the console gamer in mind. The gaming sock is the first edition of active gaming footwear. It's designed as indoor footwear delivering comfort and the exact support and grip to adapt to different in-game scenarios. I think they're trying to say is if you're sitting in any sort of position, whether you're whether you're whether you're leaning back, you're leaning forwards, you, you're curving, the the sole isn't fixed and the shoe is really light. So if you're a type of person that's always sort of pressed forwards on their toes, or if you're a person that leans back or whatever sort of position you're in, the sole sort of bends to your foot. And you always feel that the shoe is wrapped around your foot. I think that's what they're trying to say. Again, this might sound crazy. I hate putting my feet on the floor if I don't have shoes. And I hate wearing shoes indoors. So you can see my conundrum. Th the best thing I can say about, about these pair of shoes is... I, I wear them. And I forget that they're on. And I will wear them for five to six hours. And I will... I guess I'll actively look for my shoes before I put them on. So these, these are literally just under my desk. And when I go to sit down to play some games, I will actually wear them and they're comfortable. And that's the best thing I can say. Now, do these shoes make you a better gamer? Absolutely not. Do these games give you better performance FPS wise in game? Are you going to put on the active gaming shoe and get 50 more FPS? No, you're not. It's 80 quid. How much gaming do you play? How much indoor use are you going to get out of them? Now, for me, these are basically sort of replaced slippers because slippers get very, very hot and sweaty. They're often the wrong size. They're too big. They're too small. You just kind of chuck your slippers on if you're chilling out. These are just just replace them effectively. Um, you know, And these are indoor shoes. So if you just want to lounge around the house, put your feet up, play some games and again if you've got your feet in all kind of weird positions and you want them to bend they bend because the sole isn't absolutely tied in it's just stuck um sort of to the base and it moves with you so there's there's nothing really more to say other than i think that puma may have slightly done themselves a disservice by advertising them as these pure console gaming shoes i think they're more than pure console gaming shoes 
Now, I can definitely imagine a world where console gamers and esports gamers walk out of their arena to the LAN event and they're all wearing these sort of shoes. That way, you can. I know a lot of pro players take their shoes off when they play, a lot of pro players have these different rituals. Um, but I can definitely imagine a team walking out in these basically Puma esque gaming shoes but for ju i'm just saying for me personally and it came as a shock i was willing to embrace the memes of lol it's a gamer shoe what are they doing but it really has effectively changed the way i play games which is strange because i really didn't think i'd be saying that um a gaming shoe that's changed the way i play games now it hasn't physically changed the way i play games i'm not a better player I'm not faster or anything like that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when I do <clears throat> sit down at my computer and I do look to play a session of games, I, I do look for my shoes and it sounds it sounds daft. Attack, attack mode, defense mode, right? It sounds crazy. But the point is, you've got to remember, 80 quid, comfortable, lightweight shoes and I'm enjoying them. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, maybe in the future, I'd love to try some other products that maybe are getting memed on and see if they really are that bad. So thank you for watching the review. If this helped you make a decision, thumbs up, leave a comment. And thank you to the support from the channel because without your comments, your likes and your sort of generous feedback I get in every single video, uh, I, I wouldn't be getting sent this product and I wouldn't be trying them and I wouldn't have this product in my hands so thank you for that um hopefully you all had a wonderful day um if you enjoy the content there are links below uh this is an ad free sort of non-revenue channel so if you want to support the channel and you enjoy what i do there are links in the description to support me uh have a wonderful day i'm going to put these on and i'm going to get 50 extra fps no i'm not but i am going to wear them